So we got two holes um, in the center of this part that we need to drill and we're going to go ahead and spot drill them and we'll go ahead and drill them as well. So first thing I'm going to do is save my part and I'm going to go select my drilling operation that's in my toolpath tab and I'm going to come over and I'm going to select the top edge of this boss and I'm going to select the top edge of that boss as well and you see the diameter of those is 4313 that's the top edge of my chamfer I want to go ahead and green check for my tool I'm going to use my 3 8 uh, or excuse me my half inch spot drill I already have a comment for spot holes for my cut parameters again since I set my settings up it's going to bring it as a drill counter bore uh, tool axis control and hole segment is nothing we need to worry about in just our standard 3D mill. For my linking parameters, again, clearance plane 2 inches, absolute. I'm okay with that. Uh, I am going to say use clearance only at the start and end. So it's going to read my retract value. So it's only going to retract 100. Go over and do the other hole. That's perfectly okay. My top of stock is zero. And again, guys, it's just pulling this information from setting our stock. But I don't know if any of you have ever used it uh, for calculating the depth of a spot drill. Um, if you don't know the diameter of that top or how big or how deep you need to go, we have the option down here for a depth calculator. So I'm going to select a little depth calculator, and it brings up my calculator. Uh, use current tool values. So the diameter of my tool is a half inch. Uh, the finish value, it was for something I don't remember, but we can go find out. So I'm going to right click inside of this window and I'm going to go to diameter of an arc. When I select diameter of an arc, I'm just going to pick that same diameter that we had, the 43125. We don't have a tool tip, but we don't have a flat on ours that comes to a point, so I'm okay with that. The next thing that I'm going to look at and something that I always do is say overwrite depth. Mastercam will hold modal values from previous drilling operations. So if there was a value in our depth down here, we would want to override that with the depth that we're setting. And what this depth calculator does is it takes the angle of the spot drill and when it makes contact with this face or with this outer diameter, it will stop on that contact. So it sets that value for us. We do want to make sure that our tip comp is turned off. And I'm going to go ahead and green check. I want to back plot just this first one for you so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see that my spot drill now has come straight down when it makes contact. My next operation, our next move is up in Z and goes to the next hole and does the same thing. So it sets your counter bore or your chamfer rather to what you need. I use that one a lot. So for our next operation, uh, we're going to use uh, drilling again. So I'm going to go to my drill tool path. And this time I'm going to select both of these holes. So if you read your tool tip up here, it says select one or more entities. I can go select them individually. Or I can use control click to select all matching radiuses of a solid feature. Again, we've not created any wireframe for our part. So by just simply going in and selecting the inside of this hole and letting it highlight, I'll hold down my control key and left click. You'll see that I get an arrow facing up on both of these. It will match those diameters or the radius of each one of those holes for us. And you can see over here in my features that it selected. It selected solid feature one and two, both 375 diameter, which is the diameter of those holes. So just by using the control and click, I can select multiple holes without having to go select each one. I'm going to go ahead and green check. Go to my tool. I'm going to select my 3H drill. I'll give it a comment. Drill holes. I only got two. Uh, again, you can go set your holder up. We're going to go straight to our cut parameters. Notice it has set my drill to pec drill already. And I'm going to go straight to my linking parameters. Calculate incremental values from the holes and the lines. Mastercam sees each 
a, a line down the center of each one of these holes and it will calculate the depth if you use an incremental value. So I do have absolute set here for two inches above the part, retract. Notice my use clearance only at the start of the end. That stayed modal from my previous operation. There's my retract. My top of stock, I'm going to set that to zero as well. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to incremental. And it's going to see that line from the top of the hole to the bottom and set my depth for me. So we could be drilling multiple depth holes and then we could with the same drill, they could be all three different depths and we'd be able to drill those holes. The next thing I want to do is set a tip comp. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my tip comp on. I don't want it to break through, so I'm going to go ahead and set that to zero. And it's going to comp the length of the tip of the tool and it already knows the tip angle and it pulls this information from what you set up in your part or for your tool. So I'll go ahead and green check and if I go ahead and set this we can watch it drill and we'll see that it will drill just to the bottom of the hole. See if I can stop it right there. Let's back it up to that last one and we're going to change our transparency over here to shaded. Let's go to wireframe. We can see it that way and you can see that my tool is going just to the bottom of that hole. So not having to do a whole lot of work to get to what I need for my holes.